Hi, right, you guys, Chris here. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys a new tank that I set up. It's actually an old tank though. If you guys seen any of my previous videos, it used to be my old saltwater tank. I broke it down, took all the fish to my local LFS, and I converted it to a freshwater tank. So let's check it out. Let's see what fish we got in there. And yeah, let's do it. So here we go. This is an innovative marine, 30 long aquarium. Say it holds 30 gallons, but it's really about like 20, 25. Super dope tank, all in one aquarium, meaning all the filtration is built in the back. Nice aluminum stand. You don't have to worry about it getting damaged from water. Should hold up for pretty much a lifetime, I would imagine. I kept the lights from my saltwater tank, the AI Primes, because I like the blue shimmer that the lights give off. So let's go ahead and dive in and see what fish I got in here. Of course, they're all hiding right now. It's kind of hard to tell with this blue light, but the fish we got in here are some multifasciatus from Lake Tanganyika. Dwarf cichlid, shell dweller, super cool fish, super easy to breed. I plan on colony breeding these guys. They're very good at raising their young. There's a couple of them right there. One in the back. I still got some guppies in here. I use these guys to, to cycle the tank. I just haven't got them out yet. But yeah, I picked up seven of these multis from Ryan at Wild Fish Tanks. Same dude I got the endless from. Super dope dude, he bred these himself. He lives locally by me, so they're already used to the water. Picked up seven of them from him. Had them for in here about four days. They're settling in good. They're already starting to dig little tunnels. And you can see right here under this rock. That's actually a whole tunnel they dug themselves. So in about a month or so, this whole this sand is going to be rearranged around. They'll actually pick up, move the shelves, move the sand around, create their own little homes. So I'm excited to see how the tank layout changes. Yeah, super cool fish. Kind of like a white white fish with blue eyes I don't know if the camera's picking it up let me adjust the ISO and see if you can see a little bit better oh yes a little bit better some of these guys are a decent size there's a couple of them in here that are about an inch they only get to be about an inch, two inches, so hopefully within a couple months they should start breeding. There's one guppy I still got in here, the male. But yeah, let me see if I can grab some food and get these guys to come out a little bit more. Got this krill flakes right here. They'll absolutely love from extreme. Oh yeah guys, check out these peppers too. I don't know if you guys watch any of my other videos. But I got some peppers growing outside hydroponically in there. This one's huge. This is a jalapeno. This thing is massive. This is a Cajun fajita. I had my friend take a bite of it earlier and he said it was so hot. He didn't want to eat any more of it. But yeah, let's grab this food. Let's see if we can get these guys to come out.
This guy's coming out to eat. These fish are super shy. I think it's because they've only been here for a couple of days. Yeah, like I said, they're super easy to take care of. I've just been feeding them flakes. And they're going crazy for it, as you can see. Yeah guys, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to share this with you, keep you updated on what fish I'm keeping, what fish I plan on breeding. And yeah, it's a super dope fish, multifasciatus, stays super small, super easy to keep. If you see them at your local LFS, buy them. Just buy them. You won't regret it, I promise you. They have tons of personality. You can keep them in a 10 gallon. You can breed them in a 10 gallon. Just, just buy them. Really dope fish, you won't regret it. And yeah, that's it. I just wanted to share that with you guys. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Catch me on the next one. Till then, I'm out of the...